five. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, I want to talk about five penny stocks that I'm actually watching closely during this pullback, looking for opportunities to start picking up some more shares um, to potentially swing some of these uh, stocks. Uh, some of them are stocks that I, I already own in my portfolio. Others are ones that I'm looking for opportunities to get into. That's what I want us to cover in this video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. Again, guys, during times like this, you have to look for opportunities. And again, you're looking for opportunities to buy low so that when the market reverses, uh, you are in already, you're not chasing. Most people shy away from the market when the market is down because they're not used to it. But then when the market starts to recover, they start chasing and getting in a higher price. So if you're a smart and you know what you're looking for and you understand uh, your trading strategy, then this will be a good time for you to start looking at stocks that you want to get into. So that's what I want to make sure that you guys uh, are aware of. So let's jump right in and take a look at the five stocks that I have on my list right now. So the first one here is ticket symbol KULR, Cooler Technology. I really like this one. Uh, again, I have this one long term um, that I'm holding. I'm not going to sell this one because I see tremendous amount of opportunity here. So again, this one I'm looking at uh, right now, even during this pullback, the stock is still holding strong. So I'm anticipating that after uh, we start to recover and then people get to understand what this company does because their, their technology just got to Mars uh, protecting the batteries on the rover that NASA sent to Mars. So this is that going to be good news. Once people hear about that, they're going to start looking into this stock a lot. This one is um, over the counter, so you cannot buy it on your major brokers like uh, Robinhood and uh, Weibo. So you have to go to uh, either Fidelity, Vanguard or TD Ameritrade to buy this one. But I really like cool technology a lot so i'm anticipating that that news can push this thing uh to at least five dollars um, a share once people start to learn more about the company and what they do and where they position themselves into this ev um, ecosystem so i like it let's go to number two here is Torchlight uh, Energy Resources. Again, this is one that's merging with uh, Meta Materia to take them public. I do like uh, Meta Materia just because of the product that they're building, the technology, Nano Materia, which is the future. So I like that. Again, when that merger goes through, anticipate this thing is probably going to break that $5 price point and keep moving up. So again, from a penny stock standpoint, that's pretty good return. So that's my number two. Number three is uh, Tissero. Uh, in the prices. This one, if you can see here, this one actually squeezed all the way to uh, $5 and some change before pulling back and then settling right now at just under $5. Again, with this, with this massive pullback, you see that there's an opportunity here for you to get it. This one, um, I liked it even before the merger with um, Humble, which is kind of like a, a payment, a global payment system. As you can see here, you can send and receive money to people all across the world. Um, so again, with the people with globalization, people moving around, you want to be able to send money at a really affordable rate faster. And so uh, Humboldt does that and they actually merge with uh, uh, Tesoro Enterprises. So that's why I like that one. Uh, number four here for me is uh, Bio Nano Genomics. This is a company that has a bright future. Um, again, this stock has gotten all the way to, if we can uh, go to the one one chart here, you can see the check that this went up to close to $16 a share before pulling back. And to me, that is massive pullback. So when if you're looking for opportunities, where do you go? You go to stocks that have this kind of pullback because uh, the recovery, you know where they came from and you know they, they can get back to that point. So again pending some of the new technology some of the new products that they have out there i anticipate that this one is going to squeeze back up and get that gains that we're looking for so that is one that i i really like too so again this is one that i own but i'm going to add to my position if it keeps coming down i'm if this one gets down to under eight dollars again guys i'm going to be putting even more in my portfolio and then last but not the least this one is zom uh, ticket symbol is Z-O-M. The only reason why I have this one right or I'm thinking about this one right now is because they have a catalyst coming out uh, March 30th. They are talking about the new technology for uh, diagnostics for uh, pets, cats, and dogs. So that new technology is going to be coming out. They're going to be putting that out March 
30 years. So to me, that's a huge catalyst. So if you can buy this um, under this $2 price point and then hold it and ride it all the way to uh, 4 or $5 to me, I think that would be a good squeeze. So recovery would be, this would be a good stock to hold in that position. So there you go, guys. Those are five stocks I'm actually watching right now, uh, looking at good entry points to actually buy some and hold and ride it back to uh, where they started from, even some uh, once the recovery starts. Uh, but I want you to be smart about the way you get into some of the stocks. Again, my strategy has always been don't jump in um, or with all your liquidity. If you want to go into a position, uh, average your way in. So right now, if this thing is sitting at, say, $2, it's a stock that you like, it's a pullback from, say, a high of $4, you, if you want to buy 200 shares, you can start with 100 shares and then wait to see which direction the market is going and then you can add more. If it's going down, you can add even 10. If it goes down more, you add another 10 until you get to your 200 shares. Then that way, your dollar cost average is going to be really, really low. And then once this thing starts to bounce back, you're sitting in the money and just waiting for it to bounce back. So uh, most people, again, panic and sell and then wait when the market starts to recover then they start chasing. But I don't want you to be in that situation. You, even if you buy now, some of the stocks I just showed you, if you buy now, let's say uh, a BNGO, you buy it at $8 and it even drops to 7 you know that this, the recovery here is just going to be, uh, once it bounces back, it's going to go to 10 12 15 a high of $16, and even can go beyond that. Because uh, if that stock, if Kathy would actually put a BNGO uh, in one of her ETFs, Trust me, that thing is gonna explode. It's gonna cross 20 just like that. So to me, that's the way I look at the stocks that I invest in. Again, those are penny stocks, and for people that don't quite understand, penny stocks are anything that's under $10. So if you have a stock that's under $10, that's considered a penny stock. Most people don't, don't get that. I think penny stock really means penny stock. It's not. Um, if your stock, if the stock is trading under ten dollars, it's considered technically a penny stock. So that's why you see some of the stocks there are almost ten dollars, but not ten dollars. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this list of penny stocks. Do you have a list that you're watching at? Again, drop them in the comment section. I do have um, other stocks that are under a dollar. I have a list of about four or five stocks that are under a dollar that I plan on buying. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that one. And again, guys, I want you to be very careful that with penny stocks, it's high risk, high reward. Um, a lot of these companies are still trying to establish themselves. So the, some news can come out tomorrow and just pull the stock from high that you saw it down to pretty much anything and just wipe all your gains. So when you get into these positions, especially with these penny stocks, I want you to make use of your stop loss. Put a tight stop loss just in case things start to go south. The way I do it, I make money in some of these penny stocks. I take that money and then I go put it in good growth stocks that I, I trust, that I believe has a future. So like for instance, I'm loading up on CCIV because I trust the company. I, I, I see the future there. Um, but a lot, some of the spending stocks, like let's say uh, Zomedica, uh, Z-O-M, I, I'm not really a pet person, so I'm not. I don't want to invest in the company long term. I'm just going to take some money right now and then go put it in a company that I really care about and trust. So that's my strategy. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, guys. Webo is still doing their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get four free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.